What's up guys, Chef F here, and here again for another video. So today we're going to be making some ginger biscuits, which has been a request of a few friends. And this is one of my favourite recipes of biscuits to make. It's just delicious. It's just the classic English biscuit. And as I'm talking about England, well here I am in England. Um, that's why you might have realised that it's not the same side as it was before. So it might be a bit different than it was last time so I'm in England so I'm making a English recipe so let's get into it so here you have 340 grams 250 grams of um, self-raising flour and you just need to sift it into um, into, into a, a, a mixing bowl with the flour you need to add 200 grams of golden Caster sugar. And you also need to add a tablespoon of ginger, ground ginger, because that's all we'll need to make delicious ginger biscuits. Strange to know that one of the key, one of the, well, the key thing about the recipe, there's not much in it actually. I get that ground ginger and then just pour it all in. And then you need to add a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. So this now, we'll leave it for the sides. Uh, oh, to rest. That. Move yourself along to here and put 85 grams of golden syrup with uh, 110 grams of butter into a small pan. So this we need to uh, turn it on at a small heat. Like that. And you need to uh, keep it heating and keep mixing it until um, it has all until all the butter has melted done that um, just leave it to cool and uh, leave it to cool until it's just warm so when that has cooled off um, all you need to do is pour your wet mixture which is the syrup and the butter into the dry mixture which is all the dry ingredients and with that you add one egg which has been beaten And then start to make the dough into a mixture for um yeah, we, we, we turn it into dough. So when that has turned into a good dough, you need to make um, 30 walnut sized balls and put it on a baking tray with baking parchment underneath it. So they just came out of the oven, just leave them to cool off a bit until um, they are ready to eat and then uh, we'll see them.